Hi, let's continue with our section. In this video, I will introduce you natural language processing using the uh, hashing vectorizer and TF DIF with the scikit-learn library. So we often find in data science that the objects we wish to analyze are textual. For example, they may be tweets, articles, or network logs since our algorithms require numerical inputs we must find a way to convert such text into the numer numerical features so to this to this end we we utilize a, sequ a sequence of techniques so a token is a unit of text for example we might specify that our tokens are words sentences or characters a cow vectorizer text textual input and then output a vector consisting of the cows of the textual of the textual tokens so a hashing vectorizer is a variation on the cow vectorizer that sets out to be faster and more scalable at the cost of interpret it at the cost of interpretability and hashing collisions through it can be useful just having the cows of the words appearing in the in a document covers can be misleading the reason is that often an important words such as the and a known as stop words have a high frequency of, of occurrence and hence little informative content for reasons such as this we often give words different ways to offset this the main technique for doing so is tf idf which stands for term frequency inverse document frequency so the main idea is that we count for the number of times a term occurs but discount it by the number of documents it occurs in so in cybersecurity, text data is omnipresent, even logs, conversational transcript, and list of function names are just a few examples. Consequently, it is essential to be able to work with such data, something you will learn in this video and the next video, so we'll implement it. And that is all in this video, so I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you in the next video. Hi, let's continue with our session. In this video, we'll implement the natural language processing using a hash vectorizer and TF IDF with a scikit-learn. So I did mount the Google Drive, so I did CD the content to the Colab notebooks, and now I just change to GBU. So this will save our times. So now we will have the width. So let's write some notes for that. So first, we need to import this textual data set. So width open. So uh, no nops underscore short dot txt we will have the encoding which is a utf i s f and we have is a uh, no nops dot underscore chart underscore lock equal to f dot grid line so let's run the cell uh, before that I need to mount the drive so I'm doing mounting drive and I will cd to the collab and then I just run the cell. So we will open this text and read it.
and it will read line by line because we have a read line here. And now, next, we will count the words in the text using the hash vectorizer and then perform waiting using the CF IDF. So we will have from sklearn dot feature underscore extraction dot text and we will import the hash thing vectorizer 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 so we just copy this one and then sklearn dot feature extraction dot text will import a tf idf transformer so now let's run the cell so we don't have any errors that is good so we will rely on my vector equal hashing vector so we have a input equal content and then we got comma and gram range is equal to one comma two and then we got x underscore train underscore cows is equal to my underscore vector dot fit underscore transform so we have is a uh, no knobs chat locks comma and then we have tf underscore transformer equal to tf idf transformer and then we have is use underscore id f equal true and finally comma and then it will be dot it will be dot fit we have a x underscore train underscore cows and then we'll have is x underscore train underscore tf is equal to tf underscore transformer dot transform transform and now we have x underscore train underscore cows so now let's run the cell to check if we have any errors and we don't have any errors and now we have is the end result is a spa matrix with each row being a vector representing one of the taxes so we have is x underscore train tf and then we will bring it So we read this output 
this is the album that we will get. So we'll explain how does it work. So in step one, we load the data set. So of course this will be easy. Load the data set. So the Anonops IRC channel has been affiliated with the Anonymous Activists Group and in particular, particular chart part participants have been have in the bus plan and announce their future targets on anonops so consequently a uh, well engineer ML system will be able to predict cyber attacks on training on such data. Now let's move to step two. So step two is we instant created a hash string vectorizer so the hashing vectorizer gave us cows of the one and two Rams in the text. So in other words, in other words, singleton and consecutive pair of words, which is a token. We and apply uh, TF IDF transformer to give appropriate appropriate weight to the cows but the cows to the cow that the hashing vectorizer gave us. So our final result is a large bar matrix representing The occurrence or occurrences of one, two, and two grams in the Texas weighted importance. So the final step will be the step three is that we did examine the front end of a spa matrix representation of our features data in Skype.
So, and that is all in this video. So I hope you can run successfully and get the result as same as mine. So if not, do not worry. You can check my code and then copy and paste it to see what did you go wrong. And that is all in this video and in this project. So I hope you enjoy it and you learn a lot. And I will see you in the next video.